Welcome, Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. That means for you, this actually could resonate as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Under the deck here, we do have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, or the other woman. Okay? <clears throat> I'm also seeing this, not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, avoiding a call or a person, boundaries, and still angry. <clears throat> okay. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility, and not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, and jealousy. And I did see here, healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Okay, y'all, I feel like this is really, really specific this week. If this is not your story, please don't get upset. Check your other placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Um, those could be really relevant for you. I feel like this is a situation where maybe... You are thinking about someone that you are not together with, okay? And I think that this person missed an opportunity with you, went off to pursue something with someone else, and now they have regrets. The problem is you're moving on. You know, I'm not going to hold myself back. I'm moving forward. You know, you missed your chance. You're, you know, making a life with someone else. Now they're wishing... It was you. It should have been you. Why didn't I see that when I had the chance? That's what I'm feeling. And now this person is like beating themselves up thinking I could have had it all with you. Okay, this is that, you know, I should have, would have, could have. Like if I could just go back in time, if only, if only. Uh, but let's get specifics. Obviously we need to know more about what's going on here. So let us get specifics for the collective. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to force it to fit, okay? I, I get people asking me things like that all the time. How will I know if it actually resonates? If I give you a bit of information, it should just sit with you. It should make sense. It should just fall into place. If no matter how you flip it, twist it, reverse it, it just doesn't fit your story. It doesn't make sense in your heart and your mind. It doesn't resonate. Um, the tower, Scorpio energy. There was a tower moment here between you and this person. Things came crashing down. There was an ending. It might have been an ugly, very painful ending, abrupt, even for some of you. Maybe some of you, some kind of news came to light unexpectedly. Your energy, your person's energy, what's between you and this person, the obstacle. Their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and what actions can you expect from them. Under the deck, the moon, the ten of swords, the king of wands, and the king of pentacles. Ten of pentacles, okay. Signs that I'm seeing very prominently, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a little bit of fire. I mean, it could be any sign. We have a little bit of everything here, but I do feel like most prominently water and air. I think that this person, they've never let this connection go with you. And for some of you, maybe this has been a few months, maybe this has been a couple of years, but this person has kind of held on to this situation with you and never cleared you from their mind, cleared you from their heart. And this is a problem because for some of you, I'm, I'm getting like 50-50 right now. I'm getting half of the collective's energy who was like, mm -mm, no, it's over. It's done. I am moving on. Let me move forward. I'm not going to get roped up or, or held back by the past. Some of you just want a fresh start, a clean slate, move forward. Some of you, for the other half, there's always been this longing or looking back reflection in the past. But the problem is this person didn't do whatever was necessary in the past to make a connection work. And so now there's a lot of uncertainties. And I feel like for you, you're just going to be really honest here when this person comes around because I see them coming towards you, okay? And you're going to have to tell them, listen, you know, maybe there are feelings here, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I trust you. You know, you might even want to have a really direct conversation and talk about some things. Maybe you're looking for closure and you might want to bring up, well, you did this in the past and this happened. 
you know. I'm all about, you know, forgiveness, but I'm not forgetting something, right? You may want to see if there's potential to talk something out and work something out, but you have a lot of questions and you need some kind of clarity from this person. It's coming in very abruptly, unexpectedly. Because, like, I don't get this person's energy as somebody who just comes in, hey, what you doing? How are you? Like, I'm not getting that. Like, what I'm getting is... So listen, Libra, I, I got a lot of things I need, I need to get off my chest, you know? The, the, this person's coming in dropping a bomb, right? Figuratively, you know what I mean? This person is like, I can't stop thinking about you. But wait, aren't you with so and such? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm ending that situation or this has happened or that's happened. This person is like just info dumping, I feel like. They are coming in with a lot of, I haven't let you go. I can't sleep at night. It's been years. I still think about you every day. I see your name everywhere I go. A conversation's being had here. And this has given you a lot to think about. This person, I feel like, has been the most honest and most truthful they've ever been. And obviously that puts things, you know, in a difficult place for you because you've got a lot to consider here. You're getting a lot of information. And I feel like this person's even volunteering things that you're not even asking them. I, I feel like this person is coming in and being like, you know, remember that time I said I was working late? Well, that's not actually the case. Or like, And I'm not saying that for all of you, but get you what I mean. It's like this person just volunteering everything. The issue is, can you work on this relationship with this person? Because in the past, it felt like you were really pulling the weight here. You were putting in so much more effort than they were. And for some of you, like I said, it could be that there is still presently a, a third party or there was one in the past that you're concerned about. This person... Like I say, Four of Swords, they lay awake uh, during the day, night, thinking about you. Every time they close their eyes, they see your face, they see your name, they see everywhere they go, everything they do, you're on this person's mind. And now they are trying to sit and think, how can they fix this with you? Some of you are very hesitant to communicate with this person because even though you may want closure or some kind of information, and some of you, like I said, still could be open to giving this a chance. There's a lot of fear that this past is going to repeat itself. They're in love with you. They are in love with you. I feel like they look back at the past, male or female, and they see you as probably the most like genuine person they've ever had in their life. Someone who loved them wholeheartedly. Someone who accepted them completely. They didn't have to pretend to be anything else. You were just there for them. Comforting, nurturing, loyal. And they know they messed up. They let their ego get in the way. And now I feel like this person does want to come in and they really want to impress you. They want to show you they've changed. They want to show you they've matured. They want to show you they've grown. They want to tell you about all the things they've been working on since you guys have been disconnected. They want to give this a fighting chance. They're realizing they've made a lot of unhealthy choices especially in regards to love choosing to pursue situations now for some of you i'm not for, i'm again 50 50 some of you they could have actually been with someone else or talking to someone else when they were with you but i don't get that for all of you for some of you just there was some kind of missed opportunity and disconnect and i'm getting like there's a big portion of you where this person wasn't actually in a third party but when things disconnected that you found out they were dating someone else or getting to know someone else to get what I mean so I'm not sure what spectrum each of you are on because again there's a lot of you but that's what I feel like for some of you it was that this person disconnected they ran their ego their pride their whatever toxic influences behaviors addictions this person disconnected and now they're coming in I tried to move on it didn't work out I, I don't know what's wrong with me I don't know why I did the things I did they're seeking answers is there still a chance for us would you be willing to open your heart here and forgive me could we move past this could we try it again you were that palm tree for me you were that stable sincere honest dedicated person that I could always rely on and I realize now that I took that for granted but can you forgive me for the past that is entirely up to you what actions can you expect from this person? What are they doing? Yeah, they're trying to connect with you. They may even be asking you, could we have a heart-to-heart? -heart? Can we have a face-to-face -face discussion? Can I hear your voice? I feel like this is a, a like a text or like a, a, a direct message, a DM or something that turns into like a phone call, that turns into like a video call, that turns into like a meeting. 
if you allow it to. This person really wants to see you. And I think that this person, they're going to be, like I said, they're going to be talking about a lot of um, really emotional, heavy things. I think that this person is telling you that they know that they should have been with you. They should have stayed with you. They should have had con a committed traditional relationship with you. They should have married you. They never got over that. They moved on with the wrong person. They realized the error of their ways. But this is obviously giving you so much to consider here because now this person's coming in saying all the right things, but there's still a lot of hurt here. And for some of you, you might have already moved on. So that's what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.